My name is Turner. I'm 20 years old and I attend one of the modern universities that is leading me and thousands of others like me into the next millennium. I major in sociology. This is a very critical point as my choice has great bearing on this story. This park we are now surveying is in my hometown. It is about one half mile from Hoover High, the school I graduated from. I never paid much attention to this particular park until now. Perhaps it was boring or too quiet or too empty. But now, on the cusp of a career in sociology, the park suddenly stands out in my mind as a microcosm or some giant fishbowl. I have come here to observe the ways in which people use parks. <clears throat> nice weather we're having. Sure thing. Do you come here for lunch? Are you kidding me? I practically live here. You see that bridge over there? Yeah. Uh, third pillar from the right. It's got my name spray painted on it. All the most fun you give me shit about, 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 you gotta pay your douche to have the third pillar. God, what do they think this place is, a country club? Damn! People. Your name's Noah, isn't it? Of course it is, you know that. Your name's Turner. We graduated from Hoover High together. Boy, that certainly is a nice sweater you got there, brother. Where'd you get it? Salvation Army or Goodwill? It was a birthday gift. Grandparents? Tough love. Now, this is a Brooks Brothers jacket. Well, what's your move? I got it off of one of the old farts who died in the last cold snap we just had. Sure as hell was heavy, considering he didn't eat very much. Well, I got it off him right before the cops showed up. Oh, yeah, I managed to scrape up enough money to have a dry clean. Not bad for a pre on that. All them old farts give me shit about it. But you gotta pay your dues. So, what are you doing in this neck of the woods, huh? Looking for a place to live, huh? <laughs> no. I mean, I'm home on Christmas break. College boy, well, well, well. Well, look, I didn't mean to bother you. I thought about it once. But then I woke up. I realized it would, it would take me a few years to earn a, a Brooks Brothers jacket. Look at me now. I'm out of the game. You don't talk very much, do you? I'm more of an observer. The watchers watch the doers do. Well, what do you observe today? Huh? Tell me what you see, college knowledge. Well, I see a park with a lot of trees and benches, a lot of them running along the river. There's a bridge over which people are crossing in their cars. And a light wind sending ripples over the surface of the water. 
calls. Contributing to an enjoyable <laughs> park experience. <laughs> Are you shitting me? I ain't enjoying squat. I'm just standing here waiting for somebody. You wanna know why I'm standing? I'm standing because I'm not gonna freeze my butt on those lame ass benches. I see people going to their warm homes where they got food and there's television with football and there's commercials about food. Damn, I love football. I didn't know you played. Oh yeah, right, and get my butt kicked. I just love to watch it on television. I like to go down to the bus station and watch it on TV. You know, they got those TVs where, where, where you put in a quarter in the time slot and then the time always runs out right before they score a touchdown. They call this a free country. Yeah, right. I'll be seeing you. I was at a loss for words. And it hit me that I couldn't think of anything to say during the whole conversation. Noah's dialogue flowed like the river just beside us. He was keen to the subtext of the environment around him. And I was observing myself more than him. I completely forgot about what he was wearing except for the Brooks Brothers jacket. I had no recall of his shoes or pants. I had breached the observational contract and had become the experiment. Then again, this was no experiment. This was a real world encounter with someone that was homeless. Not only that, but this was someone that I knew and had all the possibility that I had in terms of education. What happened? How did he get here? What of his parents? And what was in the crate? Of that, I do remember one thing. The words, Star of Asia, stamped on its side. I got in my car, turned on the radio to a local station, and decided to come back tomorrow and make another attempt at my observations. If nothing else, I might find out more about Noah. Day two of Christmas break and of my park study. I take a different tact and approach, a more subjective, involved experience. I bring along a disposable camera to have a visual record of my observations. I go to the same bench that Noah stood beside and attempt to engage him directly. I wait and wait and wait. And then suddenly, Don't I, don't, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't I, don't, don't I know you from somewhere? Didn't we, didn't we go to high school or something like that together? Yes. Wow, it really is a small world. Well, it's a small town. No shit. What's in the box? Uh, wouldn't you like to know and so would a whole bunch of other people around here. Is it yours? No, I borrowed it. What's it for? Well, it's for the bus station. Not to watch TV. You, you gotta have a crate if you wanna watch TV. Is that so? Yes, it's so. If you got a crate, it looks like you're going somewhere. If it looks like you're going somewhere, they leave you alone and they go ahead and let you watch TV. If you got enough quarters, and I've got plenty. Hey, have you have you seen that commercial where where, where the guy has that that beer and it turns into a, like a fat chick, and then and then and then the guy says, hey hey, make it a uh, butt light. <laughs> That's funny as shit. <laughs> I don't watch much TV. Why not? I read a lot. So do I. Once in a while, I, I get a piece of a newspaper stuck to my shoe, and I, I go ahead and read it. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why are you hanging around here? I like it here. <laughs> yeah, right. I've been here six months, and I haven't seen you around here very much. What are you, some kind of social worker? I don't go for that save the world crap, man. A man's got to do what, it, what a man's got to do. What, it, what do you like about it here so much? It's peaceful. You must not hang around here very much. Then again, you're pretty clean. If you look like me, you know the name of every punk cop in this town. Well, they don't know my name. They don't know my name. And I won't tell them. 
Then again, you know that somebody's, somebody, somebody's watching you. Somebody's, somebody's thinking about that sweater you got on. Somebody, somebody's thinking about how, how warm it'd be at night if they had that sweater. And they'll wake up to, to them ripping it off you like a wrapper from a candy bar. <laughs> this place may look peaceful, but it sure as hell doesn't feel that way. The less it feels that way, the less it looks that way. You dig? I think I know what you're saying. This place, this place is like a zoo. Only there's no feeding hour, there's no bars, no ticket taker, and no fake plants. Only, only we do, we do have an audience. Can you go to one of those youth shelters? Oh, <laughs> yes, a petting zoo. Oh, look, can I touch him, Mommy? Ooh, ooh, this one likes carrots. Ooh. Listen to me, college boy. Do you think you know better than me? And tell me, tell me what you do when your father comes home and threatens to rip your mother's head off because, because she forgot to cook dinner. Tell me, tell me, where would you go when they cart him away and your mother drinks a bottle of pills and, and floats away in a river of whiskey? You had nothing then and you have even less now, huh? Tell me, what's less than nothing, huh? 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 I don't know. Of course you don't. But I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and impart you with some of my worldly wisdom just for an old high school chum. Less than nothing? Less than nothing is this crate right here. What do you mean? You figured out. I'm not very good at guessing games. Why'd you come here? You thought you had me all figured out. You took a, you took a guess. You said, you said, that poor sack of shit isn't gonna have a good old Christmas turkey like me. So, so maybe I'll use my sociology degree and, and help him out. That'd be a good deed. Yes, sir. Oh, why not? I mean, I, I thought I could help. Why can't I? Because you don't know Jack. Maybe, maybe I want to be here. Maybe I don't want a family or friends or a home. Maybe I'm tired of being let down by, by people with good intentions. Maybe I know what's good for me. I've got this park, and I've got this crate! <laughs> hey there, buddy. Did you just take my picture? Yes, I did. Is that, is that one of them throwaway cameras? Oh, well, you know, everything's gonna be throwaway sooner or later anyways. You know, cars and, and pets and people and trains. <laughs> Gosh, I'm through with it. I think I'll go ahead and throw it away. <laughs> well, gosh, when that day comes, I'll have it made. Well, you know, I find some, some pretty neat things in the trashes as it is. Well, here, look at this. Place memories. Over and over and over. Stop me. Over and over and over. Stop me. Over and over. Stop. Why'd you take my picture? I don't know. You're just an interesting person. Stop. Really. Stop it. Well, you know the rule. Uh, you take my picture, I have to take yours. Uh, I don't want my picture taken. No, 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 no. No, that's not right. You see, you didn't ask me if you could take my picture. So, fork it over. Come on, fork it over. Say cheese. Huh? Right. Well, gosh. Real disposable camera. <laughs> okay. Get over there. Take a picture over there. Come on. Well, okay, pick, pick up the crate. Pick up the crate. No, prop. Come on, pick it up. What good? Lift her up, big guy. Pick her up, pick her up. Come on, you strong picker. Oh, you know what, you look, you look like one of those UPS guys. They have no sense of humor. Well, it really is you. <laughs> well, just, it was just a joke. Okay, all right, now, go ahead now. Say cheese, say cheese, you cheesy bastard. Cheese. <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> Wait, that's my camera. Oh, you're gonna throw it away anyway! Not the film.
less than nothing. It was a moment of social revelation. I had tried to enter into Noah's social order in an attempt to become a better observer. I had misplaced myself and felt further from home than I ever had at college. He stole my camera! Damn. With many good stories, there are three acts. Thinking I might end this foray into whatever it is I'm trying to do, I come back for a third day with the crate. I wait for Noah, hoping to bargain for the camera. You just don't get it, do you? You really think I want that old box? What happened to your jacket? You gotta pay your dues. Look, speaking of dues, I uh, I want my camera back. What camera? Look, man, no more games. You give me my camera back, and I'll give you a crate. I don't want it anymore, so tough titty. Look, you don't even know what's inside it. <laughs> you funny guy. There's nothing inside there, and you know it. Well. I might have put something in there overnight. If I did, you can have it. Oh. Give a dog a bone. Oh, oh, you, you want me to do some tricks for you, huh? huh? <laughs> you people are full of it. I could go to college if I wanted to. I, I could be a rocket scientist, but I can't. I can't! Now when people are giving shit about, about, cut your hair. Oh, speak more clearly. More, more cream of coffee, please. Tell you something, Turner. The world does not exist for just one or two people. I hate people. I'll tell you something else. I hate myself, and that's pretty difficult being the charming person that I am. Look. We have rules in society. A Merry Christmas. Give me my camera. I'm not part of your society. I know that now. I should never have tried to help you. But we went to high school together. I felt obligated. You don't owe me. Get over it. Look, I think you owe me. There's a very important picture in that film. You know, I thought about that last night. I, I, I thought about that, and then I said, fuck it. You know, I threw it away. And if a picture's worth a thousand words, then I must have, yeah, I must have thrown a whole book away. <laughs> I don't believe this. You don't care about anything. Who does? I do. Nope. Nice try. I don't buy it. Okay. Well, stop the crate. Those are my pictures. Yeah. 